Hello everyone and welcome to another art journaling video. I'm Silas and I am creating acrylic and mixed media paintings and art journals. So if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next video. And now let's get into this project. Because my last art journal is full and I haven't bought a new one yet, mostly because I don't know which one, I've decided to create on three mixed media papers I have. And maybe later I will bind the pages together using rings so they would actually create an art journal. And as you could see I taped my paper on all sides because I will be using lots of paint and water and this way my paper stays pretty flat once it's dried. The paints I am using are acrylic paints by Sennelier. I have bought them recently and I am so excited. They are heavy body, so I like them so much for stenciling and they have so great smooth consistency that it's really fun to work with them. And by the way, I'm not sponsored here, I just really genuinely love them. As you could see right now, I am creating lots of texture. I'm not trying to blend my colors very good, I want to all my brush strokes to show. And when I am happy with the texture, I will also add some color spatters. And now it's time for stamping. I am using this brick wall stamp, it's great for adding lots of texture and I am stamping with archival ink. As you could see, I am stamping totally randomly and I do not want a perfect impression. And I am also stamping with my little script stamp, just here and there. And my last step in this background is to add some doodling using this white artist marker. And by the way, link uh, to all the supplies will be in the description, so don't forget to check it out. And here you can see that I am using the same marker to draw some patterns and shapes through which will show background and the rest will be covered. To be honest, I really love how the background turned out that I felt almost sorry to cover it. And now it's time to cover all the background with paint. I am using the same acrylic paints, but this time in purple and blue. To be honest, it took me quite a long time to cover everything I wanted, but I really enjoyed the process. I completely turned off my mind and just relaxed. And by the way, I wanted to apologize for the audio. I have a problem with my microphone I'm normally using, so I had to use another one and it sounds really weird, but I will fix it till my next video. And here you can see my scrap paper where I cleaned out my brushes and also used 
the rest of my paints I had when I was painting the background. Sometimes when I do that I create complete mud and sometimes it looks really nice like this one and I am using it for my birds. I just draw some simple bird shapes and now I am adding distress ink on the edges. And I also decided to add white highlight around the bird so it stand up more against my colorful background. And for that I am using the same white marker as before. Now it's time to peel off the masking tape. Do you also enjoy removing masking tape so much? I really like it because you can see how the final piece will be looking with all the clean edges and suddenly everything is much more polished. And now it's time to add my quote. I just brought it on the piece of white cardstock with my gold uh, gel pen and now I am distressing the edges of my paper. I think that this quote is so true. I struggle with this almost every single day and uh, sometimes I feel so overwhelmed by all the fears and doubts. And to add both quote and birds to my page, I am using a glue pen. I had the gold stars forever now, I think you could see them in some of my art journals before, but I totally forget that I had them and I was so happy to found them again. I think that this is the biggest sign of the fact that I really need a better organization system for my art supply. And it was sometimes in this moment that I realized that I really don't like how is the quote lost between all the patterns and colors. So I decided to cover the shapes with the background around the quote so it could pop up more. And my final step is to add the gold dots with my gel pen. They look so great against the purple background, uh, like little shiny stars. And this is how my page turned out. You can see here how all the dots are shining. And I must say that I really enjoyed creating this page. I think it's something completely different than what I usually do and it was so fun. And I really like the result, it gives me like the magical vibe when I have when I sometimes look at illustrations in children's book. And that's it with this art journal page. Thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what do you think about this project. I would love to hear your opinion. And also check out my Instagram, I post there more regularly now and you can see there what project I am currently working on. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!